Hi, welcome back my wonderful butterflies. In this video I'm showing you how I made a cute little bag from a kitchen towel. I'm gonna include all the measurements I used so you can make your own cute little bag but you can make this basically any size. It's pretty easy to do. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so here is my lovely kitchen towel. I think it was originally from Ikea, but I thrifted it. I um, actually thought this was kind of boring looking, so I decided to paint some of the raspberries. I mixed up a lovely pinkish red shade and I just filled in some of the berries. Now I'm gonna cut out my fabric and I'm gonna cut it to all of these pieces. Only left one side hemmed and I seam ripped the other sides to maximize the fabric that I had. I left the one side hemmed so I can use that as the hem of the top of my bag. I also cut out some straps and a piece that's gonna go on top of the bag for a channel for some drawstrings. I started out by ironing in each side of the straps by one centimeter and then folding it and ironing that flat. I'm going to be stitching on each side of this strap. I will stitch the open side closed first and then I will stitch on the fold. For the back I wanted to do a, a French seam, so I first sewed together um, the left sides to the left side. I totally scratched myself with a pin, that was painful. After that I cut off the seam allowance to be very small and I flipped the bag inside out or outside in at this point and the right sides are facing and I'm gonna sew all the way along where I sewed just before except now I am encasing my seam um, to make it all nice and there is not gonna be any raw edges inside the bag. Oh, also it was snowing that day and the next day my yard looked like this. And next up I decided to make the um, drawstring cord. I'm not sure what you call this. It's kind of like a twisted thing. You can make that um, yourself. I just used some pink yarn. You want to make a big loop. I used um, six total strings because it was so thin before. And you want to hook it on a door or, you know, on your tripod. And then you're going to want to twist your um, pen around and around and around until it gets a little bit shorter. And then you're going to want to put some scissors at the bottom. So you want to... Yeah, I was struggling alone. You need a buddy for this, maybe. Um, 
you put some scissors down in it and you let it twist itself around itself and it makes this nice cord that is pretty tight and never really unravels you have to make a little knot at each end as well I actually made these cords first before I cut out the um, top piece that goes onto my bag. I made a couple because I didn't know how thick they would be. Um, so I just decided to make two of this size. And they are gonna go inside the tube that I'm gonna sew on top like so. So you can pull on it like a little drawstring. So I still have this piece left. And I was also gonna just fold it and stitch it just on top of the bag. Here I'm just measuring and figuring it out, but I already put all of the correct measurements for you at the beginning. I first sewed over each end to finish that. And then I ironed over both sides to the same amount. And I kept making sure the drawstring will fit in it. After that, I marked the placement of my drawstring piece and I pinned it down now I'm going to sew um, on each side of that piece to tack it down Now for each of the straps, I actually put them on the inside and I wanted to sew them right where the drawstring opening was so there wouldn't be any more additional stitch lines showing and that worked really well. I actually pinned them from the inside first, but then I flipped my bag and pinned them from the outside, took out the backside pins and then I actually sewed on the outside of the bag because that's where it needs to look pretty and on the inside it doesn't really matter if it's a little bit crooked and i have already inserted both and drawstrings it's pretty easy you just put a safety pin in it and feed it through just like this and then you can pull on it and it becomes all scrunched and ruffly and it looks very cute I also cut off the ends to make some tassel like things yeah and that is that so this is the final piece it is pretty small, but I was limited by the size of my kitchen towel, obviously. Um, you can easily make this out of just some fabric you have. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe, follow my Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Can't name my